Best Show Quick Draw Contest. Our contestants today are Robert Fleming, unbeaten in 10 previous contests, and the fastest draw west of the Rio Grande. And the challenger, Lyle Wheeler, New Mexico State Champion for the Wild West Trophy. I'm sorry, son, but your water pump is out. Get a rebuilt one for twenty-seven fifty, but I'd have to go into town to get it, and I just couldn't guarantee it. Well, it looks like I got no choice. Might as well go ahead and fix it. All right. Thank you. You bet. No, I don't work here. My car just broke down, water pumped it. Tenant, he should be back in just a minute, though. Sounds like you forgot to prevent his maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you might say that. <laughs> this here's my speed wagon. Yeah. Goes 150 miles in an hour. And I can cover eight western states every 12 days. Really? Mm hmm. Yes, sir, and it mm -hmm. keeps me hopping. Turner's my name. How you doing? Leather is my game. <laughs> All right, got alligator here, got cowhide. How about a new jacket there? I can fix up anybody, huh? No, I don't need a jacket, thanks. Me? Just the other day, now, I sold an old lady 18 pair of shoes. She only needed one. No. See, nobody <laughs> only buys what they need. If everybody did that, we'd all starve to death. Yeah, well, besides not needing one, I can't afford it. I'm sorry. Now, wait a minute. Money's no excuse because I can offer you credit. All right. You know something? I think this is how you get your kicks. No, no. Selling this my whole life. It's my way of breathing. That and my automobile here. Yeah, this is really a fine car. It's great. Get in. Really? Hey, thanks. Hey, just get in there, sit down now, and feel that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, what kind of engine you got in here? That's a 454 Cobra. Start it up there. Listen to it purr, just like a kitten. Oh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. great. You ought to get yourself one of these, boy. Don't mind if I do.
Bobby Joe make some cream in their jeans. <laughs> Eat your meat, George. <laughs> Oh, nothing. They're just cackling me, that's all. They're kind of cute. Oh, come on. Elsie, really? Is this your order? No. I think you're just too damn particular, Bobby Joe. Why shouldn't I be? Because you're never going to get married that way. I don't want to get married. You do want to. No, I don't. I want to travel, maybe, or something. I don't know. You're dreaming again, my dear. OK, so what have you got in mind, Princess? Well, I'll know him when I see him. Hey, listen, you just have a minute. Um, why don't you go ahead and go, and I'll take your station. Uh, thank you. Caddy. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? Just fine, thank you. Can I take your order? Listen, how come you have to do all the work around here? She's off work now. Oh, I see. Hey, come here. What's your name? Effie. That's her name? Bobby Joe. Aha. Uh -huh. Listen, will you um, tell Bobby Joe to come over here? I said she's off work now. May I please take your order? All right. I'll have a hamburger, an order of french fries, and a Coca-Cola. And a Coke. Sorry. Lots of ice in the glass. You got it. Bye. witness came to the door yesterday. Said we all need saving. We're doing all right, Mama. No. I think she was right. God knows things haven't been right around here since, since your father died. Oh, I've tried my best. All alone as I am. Mama, we've been doing fine for 10 years now. I tried my best. And look what happened. Your sister's run off and you staying out all night. Bobby Joe. Did you let him kiss you? Mama, I told you. Last Friday, I was with Effie. Mm -hmm. Well, I could have had a heart attack for all you care, too. I have to have my own life, too, you know. Running around all day and night. Wasn't like that when I was young. You're right, Mama. Times have changed. Not in the eyes of the Lord, young lady. What do you want me to do, Mama? Enter a convent? Bobby Joe, I just want you to be good. You know what that means? To you, it means roll over and die. I'll find peace in heaven. You see, right away, you start exaggerating. Well, let me tell you something, young lady. I don't know what I would have done without the good Lord. It seems to me, Hattie, that liquor gives you a lot more peace of mind than the Lord, if you ask me. Well, now you just take that back, Miss Up. It's getting hot in here, Hattie. I'm going to take some fresh air. I'll see you later. Well, hello. Come on, lover boy, move it. Or did you lose your nerve? OK, so where are we going? Just drive. Yeah, but she don't even know who I am. Should I care? Hey, you know, you kind of remind me of somebody. Linda Ronstadt. <laughs> she your idol? Kind of. Who's yours? Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid? 
Well, why is that? Because he didn't take no shit from nobody. You like country music? Oh, yeah. Really sounds good. It means to me about what this car does to you. <laughs> now, how did you know that? They told me in school that I was deep. City girls are mighty fine. Lord, they show half style. Sweet perfume, fancy clothes, sexy plain smile. They tell you how they love you, how they yearn for quiet nights. But take them home, and pretty soon they'll miss those city lights. Did you write that? Yeah. It's far out. You know what? You ought to be on the stage. Oh, come on. Uh, I suppose you'd rather sling hash because it's good for your health, all that walking and exercise, huh? No, not exactly. What then? Well, I wanted to be a country western singer. Oh, now that is a real possibility, I think, your talent. That's really nice to hear. Didn't really have to say that. No, no, you know, I think you're smart enough to do anything you really want to do if you just put your mind to it. I mean, you could be a real star. All you need is a little management, maybe. <laughs> well, maybe if I'd had voice lessons when I was little or something, but now it seems like it's late, I guess. <laughs> it's never too late. You know? You've got to have dreams and persistence. That's the most important thing. You keep doing what you want and working, and pretty soon you're the best. You believe in yourself. <laughs> you know what the motto of the Texas Rangers was? No, what? Little man will beat big man every time. If little man's in the right, and he keeps on the coming. You know, when I was about, oh, about five or six, I guess, I used to stand in front of the mirror, and I'd get all dressed up, and I'd pretend like I was Minnie Pearl at the Grand Ole Opry. <laughs> really? <laughs> How'd that feel? Terrific. <laughs> so I was a star. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I used to practice being a gunfighter the same way. You're kidding me. No? no. In the mirror? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, I won every time, hands down, too. <laughs> Friend to lean on all your sad cause. 
you're crying smile for me oh wow Lyle that's great well all you gotta have is a steady hand a keen eye and a real good figure <sighs> now what does a good figure enter into it well that sort of uh, keeps me interested in the teaching Okay, now, point it. Got to cock that hammer. Oh. Pull it all the way back. Got it. It's hard. I can't do it. Now, come on. You're going to get it. Okay, okay. Put both hands together. Cock the hammer. That's right. Now, you just squeeze that trigger, and it's just like praying. Go ahead. I hit it! I hit it! <laughs> sure, you hit it. <laughs> of course. Told you, it's just like praying. Back in the state where I come from, three's a crowd. Oh, come on, Lyle. She's my best friend. Okay. Hey, what's this stuff? Well, I sell eight western states every 12 days. Anything you want from gator to cowhide. Just ask me. That we're supposed to wear plastic to save the animals. Oh, no, that's a bunch of horseshit. Where'd you hear that? Oh, I read it someplace. Now, what do you think you're sitting on right now? Vinyl. Wrong. That is 100% genuine cowhide. Breeze. Keeps your panic cool. So don't get so hot about it. I'm not. I just know my business, that's all. Idea. You want some action, friend? Well, uh, this here machine's kind of new to me. I'll spot you 10,000 points. Well, um, what kind of odds are you going to give me? I'll give you two more. Hmm, how do you think about that? That's, uh, I don't know. Say 20 bucks, that makes 40 to you. You're on. Oh, 
right back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh, One more time. One more time. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. 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 No, I beat you fair and square. And besides, my little lady here, she don't like me gambling, so you might as well just pay up. Two to one, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thank you, kindly. Excuse me, boys. Come on, girl. Oopsie. Hey, Capron, we don't like cheaters. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Hey, you guys, you got me all wrong. That's a little gaff I had, me. I can make that pinball sit up and do tricks. It just follows my hand right around the board. That's wild. Yeah, I guess I'm just naturally lucky. I think that you are probably the smartest person that I've ever met in my whole life. Really? Yeah. Does that mean you like me better than your mother? Better than anybody. Me out of the girl. Me out of the girl. Where'd you learn about all this stuff? From my brother. He's a hunter. Yeah? But he never kills anything he can't eat. What about the gun? Oh, it's my dad's. Single action colt, sort of like the one Billy used to use. Really? Billy the kid? Are you like your dad? I don't know. He died before I was born. I'm sorry. Oh, it was a hunting accident. My brother was with him at the time. That's awful. Well, he said that Dad used to always say never to lose your footing or you're a goner. I just sort of always believed that. Well, is that how come you learned to shoot so good? What's that supposed to mean? Well, because you weren't sure of your footing. No, no, that ain't it. I got confidence that won't quit. <laughs> Tell me, what's it like on the road? Selling? Yeah. Oh, it ain't a bad life. Lots of towns, lots of girls. No, no, nothing like that. Hey, listen, uh, could I tell you something personal about myself? Would you promise not to get angry? Uh, I wouldn't get angry. And you wouldn't laugh either? No, I wouldn't laugh. I like you too much, Lyle. <laughs> well, I lied. I... I'm no leather salesman. I found that sample case in a gas station back in Los Alamos. Oh, well, um, uh, shoot, what's wrong with that? You sure you're not mad? I'm not mad. I promise. City girls are mighty fine Lord, they sure have style Sweet perfume and fancy clothes And sexy painted smile They'll tell you how they love you How they yearn for quiet nights But take them home and pretty soon They'll miss those city lights City lights, how they miss those city lights. Star and sky will never really do. City lights, how they need those city lights. And there's nothing a poor country 
tried. It took me three rides to get here. Do you believe me? You look beautiful. Oh, yeah, I look great, right? <laughs> you look beautiful. Oh, listen, I stopped by your house, and I picked up some of your shit from your mom. Thank oh, you. Oh, 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 oh. About $20 that I made on just last night. Big deal. Come on, give it to me. Well, what do we got now? A little threesome? Come on, Lyle. Lighten it up. Wow, man, don't be so tight, you know? Just do whatever comes naturally, you know? It's okay. Mushroom, do your will for many, many years. Grandfather? Yes, my child. Can you help me to find my own trip? Yes, my child. With the help of the spirit, it will happen. God, I can I can see it coming. What do you see? I can see the whole United States Cavalry. <laughs> Indians, too, man. They're all over the place. I can see that. I can see that. Indians? Yeah, yeah Indians. <laughs> I can see some Indians. <laughs> What's happening there? It's the old west. Uh, Good old yeah. days. I'm in a town. You're in a town? Yeah. What's a town? Town of Lincoln, New Mexico. Lincoln, New Mexico. Yeah, it's night. They're after me. Who's after you? Who's after you? Posse. Posse? I'm being pursued by the sheriff. He's after me. I've got to get away. They're chasing me. I. Are you running? There's no way out. I'm on the run. I've got to hide. I've got to get away. Posse's coming in. They're right on me. What? They're surrounding me. They're coming in from all sides. <laughs> I'm on foot. I'm going to hide out in the barn. What am I going to do? What do I do? Go out the back door. Ah, I'm shot. Hey! Shot. Lyle, are you all right? Lyle. I'm going down. Drag off. Hey, Lyle. They've got me. I'm hit. Lyle. Yeah, but you know what? Lyle. Hey, man. I'm an outlaw. Outlaw? I am an outlaw. <laughs> oh, boy, that was some trip. Oh, this is, I am so mm. strung out. Ah, oh, hmm. I am so strung out, I feel like I'm still into it, you know? <laughs> Go with Woo. it. Move with it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Woo! I think we got Billy the Kid here driving this car. <laughs> you do, ma'am, you do. Uh-oh. Okay, boy, let's see your license. Okay, gang, Posse's after me. You better hang on. Wow! 
Now, what the hell are you doing? Honey, this car ain't mine. It's hot. Holy shit, you mean you ripped it off? God, it don't matter. They hang car thieves in this country. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my no. God. Any bright ideas what we should do now? Uh, I got a sister that's in show business. Oh. Um, right. She, uh, maybe she can help. baby sister. You know, I never thought you'd turn out to be such a raven beauty. It's in the family, Pearl. Yeah. Ouch! Hey! I'm yes, about sir. as hot as <laughs> Hey, Slick, honey, I want you to meet somebody. This is my little sister, Baba Joe, and uh, that's her friend, Lyle. How you doing? Yo. And this is, um, Essie. Essie. Essie, right. Oh, well, what's the occasion here? Oh, uh, we just sort of came by to say hello. Broke? Yeah. Need work? Hey, come on now. Slick, she don't want to work in this crummy joint. And I don't blame her, neither. She's always jumping in when she don't know what the hell she's talking about. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You take this $10 and go out and get yourself a feed somewhere. I'm going to figure something out for you when you get back. Thanks. You got wheels there, stud horse? Yeah. You mind giving me a lift over my office? I got to pick something up over there. Uh, sure, I'm glad to. Sure would appreciate it. See y'all back here in a little while. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, honey, be careful, okay? Why are you saying that? I don't know. I, I, I guess I just don't like to let you out of my sight. Oh, come on. Don't worry. Hey, come on. Loosen the leash. Flick might seem like he's a little dense, right? But I'll tell you something. He is the best that I've ever had in the sack. <laughs> and you know something else? He's a really good dancer, too. Woo, woo. <laughs> And he loves me. <laughs> he seems nice. One night he comes walking up to me and he says, hey, pussy willow. That's what he calls me, you know. He says, you want to know something? You're really too good to be doing this kind of work. I think he's right. So do I. You know what happened? He got me that night. <clears throat> hey, you guys aren't in any trouble, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we're not in any trouble. Wow. Hey, that's really wild. You like that, huh? You want a story? Oh, no, thank you. Hey, you ain't never seen me high, have you? I'm funny as hell when I'm high. I tell you, I'm bad an ivory son of a bitch. Woo! Hey, man, we're about to this office of yours anyway, huh? Just make a left up here at the next corner and pull over. I'll be right back. How long are you gonna be? Just a couple of minutes.
Yes, you maniac. Hey, why the hell didn't you tell me what was going on back there, huh? I didn't want to let you in on it. What about that big payroll this time with that security guard there? Hey, man, I'm the one that's good. Hey, you realize I killed someone? Don't worry about it, man. They got fine. I should have left you back there to die. Hey, I'm grateful. I really am. I'm grateful. That was so cute. Oh, are you going to need a doctor for that? No, just give me over to Pearl's place. She'll take care of it. Now, don't worry, it's okay. Look, honey, I got something here. I'll just fix you up fine. Ow! What's wrong with you? Now, Slick, come on now. That's just a little graze on your leg. We interrupt this program to bring you a special bulletin. Tragedy struck tonight in Lordsburg, New Mexico, as a 47-year-old night watchman was shot and killed as he tried to apprehend two men who fled from the scene of the robbery of the New Mexico Peterbilt Center in an orange Mustang. An all-out alert is on throughout Guadalupe County, says Sheriff Hicks. Apprehension is expected soon. And now, back to today's program. Uh. I guess we're all in this together now. Bullshit. What do you mean, we? I know that's gonna hang, not y'all. Now, wait a minute. We're all family, aren't we? Pearl's right, honey. Listen, we'll work it out together. Isle, why don't we just give up now before things go too far? Your idea sucks. I've got news for you. Things have already gone too far. I kill the lights. <laughs> Now they're in this thing together, we might as well do our first thing and get out of here. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we better get out through the roof. I got a little plan. Come on, let's go. Roadblocks have been set up for suspects in last night's murder. Now, you guys remember, I'm going to be right behind you watching, okay? But the radio says roadblocks. Yeah, I know, that's just it. You stop and stall them in case I have to make a break for it. I'll do that. Uh, Lyle, honey, can I ride with you? Hey, not this time. First, let's get out of this scrape. I mean, they don't know about you all, and uh, I need all the help I can get. Okay. Come on. Lyle. Take care, darling. Oh, be careful. Okay. Don't let your meat low. Drive you, hot shot. What's your destination? Oh, we're going to the Young Christian Folk Singers meet. Always had a lot of respect for the Lord, lady. So have we, sir. But I thought that meeting was in Gallup last week. Well, they might have had one in Gallup. I don't know about that. But the one we're going to is in Santa Fe. Oh, I see. Well, y'all take it easy here. You can go now. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Who's that barricade? Is that Lord Ass trying to trap you? Because I'd kill that son of a bitch. Come on, Slick, just put that thing away. He don't know nothing. He's a dummy. Bring it in the sheep. Bring it in the sheep. We will be rejoicing. Bring it in the sheep. She did it at the roadblock. Mm -hmm. You guys are very good, but don't let it go to your head, you understand? Now go on, get back to ah! <laughs> oh. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. 
messengers. Um, I don't know if it's going to work out too well traveling with this bunch. Oh, Lyle, they did good at the roadblock, didn't they? It's good luck to have family. Yeah, but don't you think you and I could travel better alone? Well, we'll just stay one jump ahead of them, that's all. Yeah, I guess you're right. They're a pretty good bunch. <laughs> I'm going to go swimming. How come you got to do all the dirty work, Slick? Well, I don't mind. I kind of like working on cars. Yeah, do you know that you're doing everything that Lyle tells you to do? That's because Lyle is much smarter than I am when it comes to planning things out. Now, hell, you know me. I can't plan a trip to the supermarket. Yeah. Well, I just wish you'd speak up a little bit more. You never talked like that to me before. Well, before, it was just you and me. Do you know what you're starting to act like now? Mm. One of them yellow bellies with a big stick up his ass. Now, before you go jumping on me, Pussy Willow, you got to remember one thing. And I don't want you to ever forget it, ever. What's that? A hard man is good to find. <gasps> Woo! Woo! You got that bucket of bolts ready? Hey, it's in top shape, Lyle. Top shape. Good work, Hoss. Well, what are we going to do now, Lyle? We're going to lay low and figure out what our next move's going to be. Well, I'm driving. You better find out. Well, I guess we better head south for now. In two cars, and if we get separated, we'll meet at Wellsville. Honey, I want to travel with you. We interrupt this program for a special announcement from the sheriff of Guadalupe County, Bud Hicks. Evening. Sheriff Hicks here, Sheriff Bud Hicks. How you doing, Sheriff? Now, I want to make an appeal to Lyle Wheeler somewhere out there. I know you're too scared to give yourself up. But due to extenuating circumstances, I can promise you a fair trial. Now, I can't tell you right off, but we believe you weren't implicated in the way that you thought you were. So if you all just come in and give yourself up nice and peaceful-like, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Sure. Yeah. And if you don't, I'm going to hunt you down like a dog. Are you not going to give up to that fat little booger, are you? <laughs> Pearl, what is wrong with giving up? I'll screw that sheriff. Come on. Lyle, he said amnesty. That means we can all go back. Hey, listen, you're free to do whatever you want to do, OK? Damn it, I mean all of us can go back together. Hey, Lyle, you're not going to listen to this fifth wheel, are you? <laughs> OK, fine. That's just fine. What then? Well, I guess we just better uh, lay low for a while and keep them guessing till we can get our little middies on some more money, huh? <laughs> all right. How did they find out it was you? I don't understand. Ah, uh, they probably traced that car that back in that gas station in Los Alamos. I'd like to speak to Sheriff Hicks. Lyle! Lyle Wheeler! What is it? Get him, get him. Stay down. If there's Sheriff Hicks! Get over there at the window. Cover me at the window. Where's that? You completely surrounded, Lyle. Ain't no way you can get away. 
Hey, listen, you two go. There's a hatch right underneath that cover back there on the rug on the floor. Yeah. Go out under it. Get the car. Come around. Cover us. Come on, Bobby Joe. Effie? Effie, where are you? Well, I'm just like I said on the TV. Y'all give yourself up, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I think you should say something. No, no. Maybe I should go with him. Shut up. Six of them out there. All right, they're coming around with the car. Don't worry about it. All right, boys, if you don't come out in three seconds, we're going to let them have it. No! No, you promised! Huh? She was really okay. I'm gonna miss her. Bill, where all his brothers was killed, Emma Dalton said, it made me a criminal. I wanted to get killed in one hell-firing minute of smoke and action. Well, she had their spirit. She could have been a Dalton for all we know. You? You too, Pearl. Pam. Now it's... Dust to dust, ash to ash. It might not be the best deal in the world, but it's the only one we're ever going to get, so we might as well learn to live with it. I'll tell you one thing for sure. He ain't going to get away with this. I got something to say. That mealy-mouthed, lily-livered sheriff has gone far enough. Do something to put him to shame and get us a reputation. What, Lyle? A bank. A bank. Now you're talking. Oh, Christ. I got it all figured out. First of all, we need a whole lot more firepower. Meaning what? We got to have guns, darling. And you're all going to have to learn how to use them really well. Now let's go. Yeah. Take it in. Take it in. Take it in. Take it in. All ready to fire. Get in position. Get the shoulder. Hold it tight. Yeah, put your left foot tight against the shoulder. Okay. Okay. Pull that. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Now it's ready to fire. It's ready to fire. Now you're gonna find pussy willow. The power of speech of one of these things is amazing. Keep it down. You get people to crawl around on hands and knees and bark like a dog, crow like a rooster. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, now, let's, let's, let's okay. count to three, okay? Come on, girls. Right. One. One, two, two. three. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that great? You're 
you're fabulous, Thank my dear. <laughs> Pussy Willow, that is just beautiful. Come on, let's try it again, all right? <laughs> Jesus, Pearl, what's taking them so long? You can't hurry these things, baby. Well, I'm going to go in and see what's going on. No, you just stay close by, because I don't want to have to leave you behind. So when Lyle says go, I'm going. happen again or I ain't coming back for you, okay? Oh, but Lyle, I made him dance, didn't I? Yeah, cooler. Well, those people never gave us any trouble. And besides, they promised me $50 for the week. I know, I know, and we weren't using the barn anyway. But I just don't like strangers hanging around. Miss Smith Potts, uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your kindness and your hospitality to me and my good friends here. Now, in reciprocation for that, I want to give you $50. I don't have it on me right now, so I'm going to send it to you in the mail. Bobby Joe, if you'll get their address here, and I want to thank you all again, and God bless. Oh, by the way, uh, watch us on the TV tonight. You going on a game show? No, sir, we're going to be on the news. <laughs> See y'all. Excuse me, Mr. Potts, what's your address? Uh, uh... Potts Farm, Route 4, Clovis, New Mexico. Okay, and Mrs. Potts, we really loved your pies. They were great. Don't mention it. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now, you see, Mabel, ain't those nice kids? Why, they wouldn't hurt anybody. Checkpoint Charlie, where are you? See now, we're getting into position. Two minutes to go. Over. Okay, Blue Bunny, this is Red Rover turning over. Good luck, Dr. Joe.
folks. I'm Slick Callahan. These are my cohorts, Miss Bobby Joe and Lyle Wheeler. Now, y'all just remain in your respectable positions and we take care of business. Ma'am? Hey, ma'am, stand and worry about a thing. Bobby Joe, get her a little chair. Sit right down, darling. All right. Don't be scared. No one's gonna hurt you. Come on, baby. You people get out of here. Get out of here. This your building quarantine. Now come on. Now move out. Move out. Leroy, you call the station right away. You hear? You tell them get over here in the double. Holy shit. Tell me, Lyle, what is it makes you fight the pigs the way you do? Oh, it was just an accident, kind of one thing led to another, you know. Oh, you mean you didn't set out to start no revolution? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I was just hit the road, that's all, and the country just kind of rose up and smacked me upside the face. <laughs> oh, geez, I bet that hurt like hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, you know, yeah, there you go. You know, you can stay right here in the palace with us if you all want. Oh, that's really kind of you, but we really got to be moving on. Thanks yeah. for your hospitality. Well, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> uh, well, y'all take care now, you hear? Okay, thank you very much for everything. See you. Bye, sweetheart. Bye, sweetheart. Thanks a lot, Magic Ray. Oh, it wasn't nothing. It was wonderful. Bye. Hold on. Drop careful now. said, howdy, aren't you people sociable around here? Well, hi, Admiral. Look, we got reason to believe there's a bunch of bank robbers coming this way. Y'all seen hiding in the harem? Well, have a look-see for yourself. Now, we know they ain't here now, but they might have been. Well, we ain't seen hiding in the harem. Now, listen, which way did they go? Well, I don't know. Maybe they breezed through on some higher plane. Back is a nasty habit, Sheriff. Hmm. Hey. Not when it's your only vice. You're wasting your time here, man. I don't care what state they're in or where they go. I'm gonna get them a bunch of murdering thieves. Well, now we don't prejudge anybody, Sheriff. Not even you. My <clears throat> deputy, you know you ain't gonna get that boy to talk that way. I don't condone violence, son. <clears throat> That's enough, Leroy. Leroy, I said, that's enough. 
Now quit it. <clears throat> Get on back to the car. Now, son, all I'm asking you for is just a little bit of cooperation. Stupid son of a bitch. Peace off. Why don't you girls go on in here and get yourself a uh, ice cream while Slick and I go across the street and get a shave? Oh, listen, don't forget to give that $50 back to that couple where we stayed on the ranch. Mr. Potts probably forgot who we are by now, huh? No, it's a matter of principle. I gave him my word. Hey, care. wait a minute. I really don't see that much, hey. because that's our money. You don't have to see. You just want to get some ice cream. Now, you're the banker, John. You take care of it. I, I want some ice. Ice. <laughs> Bye. Hi. Can we have an ice cream cone? You want one? Yeah, chocolate. Two. God damn. Wow, <gasps> Joe. It's Lyle. I can't believe it. <laughs> Look what it says. It says, Lyle Wheeler won't escape me, Bow Sheriff Hicks, and not the others neither. And that goes for his girlfriend, Bobby <laughs> Baker. Baker. Oh, God. And her sister, Pearl, and that no good cheap chiseler, Flick Callahan. Shit, that's not very nice to say about Slick. That's an insult. Come on. Look, and they don't even say nothing here about my dance and me. Uh, we'll get two of them after the boys. Jeez. Thank you. Oh, doesn't he look Thanks. cute? Yeah, okay. he looks all right. Mm-hmm. Now, you gentlemen just relax. Mm. I've got to go outside and stroke my strap. Very well. <laughs> You want to go outside and help him stroke his strap? <laughs> I think he left his strap here a long time ago. <laughs> okay, boys, put your hands up. Move! You're both under arrest. The name is Sherry Hicks, of Guadalupe County. Now, just who are you, mister? Gantz, Abel Gantz, deputy. Don't move unless you feel real lucky. Because I don't give a shit how I get the reward. Dead or alive, I get it. Why, I'd be a fool. That's right. And you, you must be that petty thief. Huh? You like to steal things? Now, why don't you kind of come on and try to steal by me, huh? Hey, cheese face, I'm going to take you apart. I eat shit like you for breakfast every morning, boy. Get out of my way! I'd hang your asses right now, both of you. But the law is the law, huh? I, I told you not to move. Now, Buster. I want you to watch that asshole, and I want you to watch that asshole. And either one of those assholes move, right? I want you to shoot them right where their onions grow. Because <laughs> I'm going to call the sheriff now and get rid of these guys. Can I have your boots? If I have your boots in my store, business might improve, seeing how famous you are. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just as soon as I'm finished with them, you can have them, OK? Thank you, Lyle. They're on the way. Get on the floor, on your knees, you fat slob. Get out there. Come on, I want to see you squeal like a pig. Come on, start to squeal. Come on, squeal. Squeal out like a real little piggy poo. Come on, squeal. Come on, fat face, squeal. Porky, what you're gonna need is a nice close shave. I'll do anything, anything, please, man. Oh, oh, please, oh. I can't exactly call the sheriff and tell him not to come in. I got it. I got a, I got a place to hide. I got money, Buster. Tell him I got money. I got money, please. Money don't buy everything, deputy. Go ahead, tie him up. Listen to him, squeal like a goddamn no! pet. No, please. Porky, what you need, you have. <laughs> Come on, get up! 
Now you stay put for 15 minutes. You understand me? Yes. You understand? Yes. What? Yes. Start this thing up, Pearl. Smile, what happened? Slick up here and kill the deputy. Oh, my How the hell did that happen? I guarantee goddamn tea that he had to come. Nobody had Will you two stop arguing? What the hell's the difference now starting the car? The difference between self-defense and deliberately killing someone in front of a witness is the difference between good and evil, you dummy. Start the car. Come on, start this thing. I can't start it. I can't oh, move it. I'm trying to idea which way they went, Buster? No, no, they didn't say. I don't know. No, I don't suppose not. But didn't you say anything? Just anything to give me a clue or something, you know? Uh, well, oh, uh, Lyle said that I could have his boots when he's through with them. That's going to be a whole lot sooner than you think, Buster, I'll tell you. Huh? I'm going to get him. And you can bet on it. Sure, it's a nice car we Yeah, cowboys probably rode Lincoln Continental horses, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's the matter? I don't know, Lyle. I'm, I'm scared. I want to see my mama. Hey, there's no chance of that. We got to keep running. Hey, shut up, Razor Happy. Hey, honey, why even bother? Hattie never cared a lick for neither one of us. Listen, if you want to see her, you're going to see her, okay? Lyle, that is not safe. Of course it ain't safe, darling. But like I said, if the little lady wants to see her mama, she's going to see her. Now, you just drive. Are you sure you're happy now, honey? Never better, mama. The sheriff gave me a number for you to call. That's in case I saw you. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Pearl. Mama, he wants to talk to Lyle. Now, he thinks that you and Lyle are innocent. Not like. Not like who, Hattie? Anyway, Bob Joe, you keep it, huh? He sounded nice. He did. Hattie, what's the real reason? Mama. Come on, Hattie. Bobby Joe. Well, I gotta admit, he said he'd give me $50 if I had you calling him. Hattie, you know, I just want to tell you one thing. You have never changed. And I don't know why I ever hoped that you would. Bob Joe, I need the money. I know, Mama. I know. Listen, we gotta go. So, uh, I'll see you later, okay? I love you. Bye, Mama. I love you. Bye-bye, baby. Friend Sheriff Hicks. Oh, Y'all seen any of your people there? Leroy, you could take a check out and back, see what you can see here. Yeah, yeah, uh, I know these folks. All right, listen, you all stay here for about 60 seconds. I'm going to go decoy them. When you hear one shot, come out. You pack that trunk, girl. They checked in last night about 7 o'clock. Haven't been out all day, as far as I know. All right, which room are they in? Um, hang on just a second. They're in number, uh, number 8. No, no, they're in number 9. Number 9. You sure now? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Right. Are they dangerous, Sheriff? They're Lyle Wheeler's gang. 
tell me. Ah, come on out with your hands up, you murdering thieves. All right, that's resisting arrest. Let him have it. All right, cover us, boys. Come on, deputy. Not them. We just killed three innocent people. It was the Lord's will. They are sinners. Sheriff, I made a mistake. The night manager sent him to another room when I wasn't here. Texas newspapers are often reward for our hides. Well, what about tomorrow, Lyle? Now, don't worry, Pussy Willow. Tomorrow we're going to hold up in style. Are we still going to the Pueblo, like you said? What do you think, Slip? I vote we head down to Old Mexico just as soon as we can. Well, that sounds great. I'd love a taco right now. <sighs> well, I think we ought to sleep on it tonight. Hey, Lyle. Lyle, hold me. Lyle, make love to me tonight. What's going on with Lyle? He has things on his mind, Pearl, that's all. He knows what's gonna happen, just like I know what's gonna happen. It doesn't really bother me. I'm ready for it. The only thing that bothers me is that we're dragging you into this, too. You're not dragging me into nothing. Pussy will, God damn it, I just don't want to see you get hurt, that's all. Slip. You know, all my life, everybody's always told me that that I'm no good, right? And you're the first person who ever told me that I'd ever amount to anything. So I'll tell you something. I am not leaving you. You can go off and do whatever you have to do. Because right now, I just want to do what I want to do. $5.53. Try it for me. What are you talking about? My name is Joe Grant. So? <laughs> That's the draw in Texas. Is that a fact now? I recognize you right off the bat, Lyle, right? Yeah. yeah. I never heard of you. Took the championship four years in a row in Texas. My, my, my. You're a real wise guy, aren't you? Don't go away. I'll be right back. All right, Lyle. Make your play. I think you're making a big mistake. Shooting against the clock, that ain't nothing. Draw against the man, that's something. Are you sure you want to go through with this? It was all, boy. Because I'm going to try to kill you. Lyle, what in the hell are you doing? Just paying the bill, darling. Get back inside. I'll uh, make you play. Now, I ain't never drawed first against nobody, Joe Grant. You're going to have to do that.
me a hundred dollar bill? Maybe that'll help pay for a decent burial. Let's get out of here. Come on, please. Joe's just about the best around these parts, Mr. Grant. None faster in West Texas. Sure, sorry to see him go this way. Thank you for your time, Mr. Grant. Sir, I found this map in the bar. Something written in the margin right here. Want to take a look? Somebody wrote Pueblo there several times. You think it means anything? Can't take a chance it don't. to get us some food? We're in town. Come on, don't worry about her, Lyle. Yes, ma'am. Can I help you? Yes, sir. What you looking at? You look familiar. Are you Jack Kingman's daughter? No, nope, sorry, I've never been here before. Well, I'll be darned. I could swear I know you. Nope. Come on, come on. Yes, ma'am. How much do I owe you? That'll be three eighty-five. There you go. I'm sure it's 385, fine. 385, 4, sure. 5. Put it in your bag, please.
found this book on Western outlaws inside. Oh. It's got a page marked. Look at here what it says. The biggest fool on earth is the one that thinks he can beat the law. The crime can be made to pay. Oh, gee. Never paid and never will. And that was the lesson of the Coffeeville raid. Emmett Dalton. Can do. 